For over five years, one Marion man has found a way to give back on Earth Day by combining his biology background and carpentry skills. KCRG TV9's Chelsea Brown shares more in this week's Show You Care Spotlight. Nestled in his garage in Marion. For some people, this, this would be boring. Is Paul Knapp's workshop. I don't get bored doing it. He's been building for nearly five decades. My father and my, after my father died, my stepfather were, were guys that used tools. And so I grew up around lots of tools and woodworking. And uh, so I come by it honestly, I guess. Knapp has built things such as toys and stools, but his specialty is birdhouses. My mother was a birder, and uh, growing up, there were two books on the kitchen cabinet. Uh, one was the Bible, of course, and the other was Peterson's Field Guide to the Birds. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging from the top of his garage are hundreds of homes of all different colors, shapes, and sizes. What allows the retired biology teacher who spent 34 years at Linmar to make these bird homes is that the wood is all donated. I ended up seeing a lot of wood going to the landfill that could be used, and I, I hate to see wood wasted. I end up picking up as much wood as I dare bring home. But I have to be able to park two vehicles in this garage every night. All year round, Knapp hammers away to make sure he has plenty of bird homes to hand out. During his Earth Day birdhouse giveaway, he's been hosting at his home for years. This year, he made 287. All of them he gives out for free. One family came and they were, they were moving to Burlington, Vermont the next week. And I've got some really good friends in Burlington, and I assured them that there are birds in Burlington that will appreciate the birdhouses. To know his carpentry goes out his door and ends up across the world is special. I've had neat conversations with, with a lot of people that have come after birdhouses, and uh, it's the people contact, which I miss from the classroom when I was teaching. And as long as the wood is placed in his hands, Knapp will continue his cycle of giving back. It's a reason to get up in the morning and uh, get out and do something, you know. Reporting in Marion, I'm Chelsea Brown for KCRG TV9 News.